YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Southside Nate, and I'm back with another video. Now, right now, I'm out here at my favorite place. My favorite place, the junkyard. I'm at the LKQ in Durham. Even though they be pissing me off, whenever I check that website and I see something that's worth grabbing, I gotta come grab it, man. I gotta at least come put my eyes on it. So what we got right here is a 2012 Camaro. It's a V6. I ain't looking for no engine or nothing this go around. But this thing got some clean bucket seats. I love these Camaro seats. And I'm gonna tell you what's crazy. If I'm not mistaken, it was either yesterday, yesterday or the day before that boy Janky Fabrications had just put out there that he made the brackets for these seats for a box Chevy. So this one got, got a little, little rip right there. Either way, I get them rewrapped. But these are in good condition. Almost. Now you know it's always one ignorant. It's always one ignorant person that'll come out here and just do some dumb shit. Now look at this. They needed this airbag. So they cut it open. Cut it open. It's either they cut it open. I feel like if it was in an accident, all the airbags would have popped, not just this one. And this door not damaged. You know what I'm saying? So, and from the pictures, that front bumper was up there. Yeah, she ain't damaged. If somebody cut this, like, dog, why would you do that? But what I'm gonna do, I already got them loose. I'm still gonna grab them. And see if they're gonna give me a discount for this one being destroyed and it's missing the airbag, so they shouldn't be charging me for that. But yeah, I already got it about out. I just had to watch a video to figure out how to get this connector off, and boom, just like that, she off. So yeah, man, I ain't gonna do too much talking. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on the little dolly thing over there, and I'm gonna get them up front, see how much they're gonna knock my head off on. In good condition with the airbag, they like a hundred dollars each. So without the airbag, I think they like seventy dollars. But we're gonna get up there and see how much they hit me for. I'll cut y'all back on in a minute. Let's get it. All right, YouTube. I'm back at the crib. I got these babies. And y'all know I had to get them. I got them for a hundred and seventy-four dollars. This one right here, he only charged me fifty-one dollars for it since it was damaged. He said he had, he said the dude that took the, that did this, he like yo, he had just walked out. He like he just walked out. He said he got that in like the seat belts. But yeah, one hundred and seventy-four dollars. Come on, Kevin. Yeah, one hundred and seventy-four dollars can't beat it, man. Can't beat it. It would not be hard. Yeah, these seats new enough. I probably can go on Chevrolet website and find some new covers for them. I think they still putting these seats in them cars. Probably like the base model. But yes, sir. I'm telling you, yo. Like I was telling y'all, my boy Janky, he had just posted it yesterday. He just posted it yesterday. Well, the day before yesterday, it say two days ago. Two days ago. I just left a comment. Well, I got to have some of these brackets, dog. For a box Chevy. Yes, sir. So, I can use these seats in either the box or the bubble. So they mountain brackets are the same. I don't know which one I'm gonna use it for though. Nine times out of ten, it'll be the box. It's sued. And they dirty. They need to be clean. I'm gonna go ahead and get online, see if I can find some new covers for them. I don't care about this airbag, because it's going in the old school anyway. 
And whenever I replace the covers on them, I'll probably just go ahead and snatch the airbag out of that one too. Don't need it. Yes, sir. $174. That was a come up. See, that's what I be saying when it comes to these junk yards. Certain shit is supposed to be a come up. You know what I'm saying? $174. Probably less than $1,000 to get them wrapped. Cushion still good. Even this part back here, that's all still good. Damn, cushions look brand new under there. Yes, sir. Come up, baby. Ain't nothing like a good old come up. But yeah, I'm gonna upload this video. Quick jump yard run, found some seats. I've been working on this dash. I got something coming for them too. But I um I don't got this dash smooth. The video for this long, so that's why it's taking so long. But I don't got it smoothed in, did all the body work. Got a smooth, got a couple more spots I gotta touch up and smooth out. I gotta get these right here. Gotta get that cleaned out so I can put the speaker grills back in. Cause on this one, I want the speaker grills to be removable. And another thing I'm gonna try to do on this one, I'm gonna wrap this one. I already been online, don't seen the fabric. And the reason why I'm gonna wrap it is Before you start doing the body work and um, doing the repairs on this, it got like, it got body lines in it. You get what I'm saying? It got some, I think, that go around this. And it got one that go across the whole thing right there. And I think it got some like right here. So what I want to do, I want to wrap it. And I want to bring them body lines back with the stitching. It's going to have that one right there, the little, the little curve right there. The little groove. But I want the stitching in it to replace all the other body lines that I had covered up with the body work. Yeah, give y'all a little snippet of that. And I'm also going to wrap these too. So these are going to match that. I'm going to wrap these. All these came out of the same car. I think it was over two years ago when I snatched this stuff out of that box Chevy that I had found out there at LKQ. It's just been sitting around. And just so I can have something to do, man. Like I said, y'all y'all hear me say this a lot in my videos. Just for me to keep working on improving my skills. And just keep just keep getting better. I just got little things like this that I snatch up out the junk yard for me to practice on. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, I either use them on my vehicle, another vehicle, or I sell them. But yeah. So I'm going to wrap these too. I'm going to wrap these. I'm thinking about doing some more speaker pods. I'll probably put six and a halves in these. Like I did mine. And I'm thinking about putting some tweeters. Or like some four by sixes or something in these. I don't want them to be too big. You get what I'm saying? I want it to still look kind of stockish. But add a speaker to it. That's my plan. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna carry this video on over too long. I ain't dropped no video on over a week. Just been grinding, working hard. Summer rain still in the shop. I know y'all gonna ask about summer rain. She's still in the shop. Do I wanna tell y'all now? All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all now. So before I took it to the shop, y'all know I said I couldn't get the stock shifter to, um, to work. So I'm gonna put a floor shifter in summer rain. I kind of always wanted a floor shifter. I definitely think the floor shifter will look way better in there versus having that column shifter. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and order up the floor shifter. I got the drive shaft, I got the slip yoke on the way. I'm gonna order up the, um, damn. I'm gonna order up the floor shifter. So when she come from the shop, I have both of those ready to slap in. You get what I'm saying? And I'm going to order some of them seat braggers from Janky. I probably can go ahead and test them on the bubble before the box even come from the shop. But yeah, it's go time, man. So I'm going to upload this video. It's going to be a quick little video, nothing major. 
Just me showing it, me going out there to get these and giving y'all a little update. You know what I mean? Junk y'all run video. But yeah, boy, these marrow seats, yes, sir. Yes, sir. $174, baby, can't beat it. I don't do leather, so I would have got them rewrapped anyway. I'm not like, I live in North Carolina. It's always hot. We about to be at the beginning of November. And today is the 31st. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's 80 degrees out here today. So, yeah, it's always hot. I don't do leather. Point blank, period. I got the leather seats the hell up out of the charger. Couldn't wait to get rid of them motherfuckers. I don't do leather. So, this would have got rewrapped either way around. Whether they would have been in good condition or not, this shit was getting rewrapped. I don't do leather. Everybody got their preference. And I prefer... Did not sit my ass on no hot ass leather. But yeah, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I don't think I got no more updates. I don't think I got no more updates. I think that's going to be it for right now. I don't be wanting to say too much. Because if I say too much, y'all be on my ass. So, which is understandable. I put it out there. Of course, y'all going to want to see it. But yeah. The seats that I got. For that charger, I got some 2019 charger seats. I'll probably put them in there. I, I tried to put them in the bubble, but the damn tracks are way too wide to fit in the bubble. So they wouldn't they wouldn't fit in the box Chevy either. It would have took a lot of modification. They probably wouldn't have took much modification. But Janky already don't did the damn lead work to get them shits right there inside of a bubble or a box. Know what I mean? There's nothing different about the way the seats mount. The exact same. And Impalas, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But yeah, man. Like I said, said again. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and upload this right quick. Get it out there. I'm going to finish working on this video. Like I said, that's a long video. I don't got this pretty much smoothed in. Go ahead and order the fabric up. See about getting that thing cut out. Get my stitching lined up the way I need it to be lined up and everything. That's going to be a fun on learning process. Y'all know, I don't mind taking a crack at it. If I ain't successful on it, I'll probably just get somebody else to, um, to wrap it. But that's what I plan on doing with these wrapping. I know I'm going to figure it out. Like I'm persistent. I keep trying until I figure it out. So this will be wrapped with some black vinyl. The black leather vinyl, you know what I'm saying? Shit going to be sweet. And the door panels and... I'm gonna have to build a new center console for summer rain since I'm gonna be putting a floor shifter in there. So yeah, man, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm out. Peace.